Dips, much like pull-ups, are a fundamental bodyweight exercise that can greatly benefit your upper body strength. However, they are often overlooked or performed incorrectly due to their level of difficulty. In this video, we will break down the proper technique to perform the dips correctly, ensuring maximum gains while minimizing the risk of injury. This exercise is fantastic to target your upper and lower chest, triceps and shoulders muscles, but it's crucial to execute it with correct form to reap the benefits. Look at gymnastic athletes and the size of their shoulders and arms. The benefits significantly from incorporating the deep exercise into the training. They don't bench press or overhead press, but they do a lot of dips. So first things first, let's talk about the equipment. You will need a set of parallel bars or deep bars for this exercise. Make sure that they are stable and secure before starting. If you're using the horn attachment and a squat rack like mine, you need to make sure it's anchored to the ground. In few occasions, I almost tilt the rack while I was doing this. Next, grip the bars firmly, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Keep your shoulders retracted and depressed with the chest in front of your shoulders, engaging your core throughout the movement. Begin in the top position of the dip, with your arms fully extended and your body upright. Actively push yourself away from the bars by extending your arms and driving your hands down and away from your body. Now lower your body by bending your elbows and you reach a 90 degrees angle or a full chest stretch. Going any farther can cause your shoulders to rotate forward and put you at risk of injury. At the bottom position, push away with your arms, avoiding lifting your chest or your head up as you move upward. This will avoid losing stability and start this swinging motion. Guys, I hope you have found so far this video valuable, so why don't you let us know by hitting the like button. Understanding where to place your legs is as important as nailing the upper body movement. One option is to keep your legs straight and extended in front of you. This position increases the level of difficulty by adding more weight to your upper body and it focuses on triceps. Be mindful not to let your legs swing or kick during the movement. Keep them steady and engaged to maintain control. In this position, it's easy to lose control over the shoulders and round them forward. This eventually can lead to shoulder pain. Another option is to bend your knees and cross your ankles behind you. This variation provides added stability and can be more comfortable for beginners. The best leg position it depends on your skill levels, strength and personal preference. Experiment with each variation and choose what feels the most comfortable and effective for you. So should you lean forward during your dips? Let's break this down. Many people overlook the significance of leaning forward, but trust me, this can make a world of difference in targeting the right muscle group and maximizing your gains. Leaning forward shifts more of the workload onto your chest muscles. This means greater activation and development of your pecs. Not only does the leaning forward target your chest, but it also intensifies the engagement of your triceps. This results in more defined arms as you push yourself up from the bottom position of the dip. Additionally, leaning forward helps stabilize your shoulders throughout the movement. By maintaining proper alignment and control, you reduce the risk of injury and promote overall shoulder health. To incorporate the leaning forward into your dips, simply tilt your torso forward while maintaining a strong core and stable shoulder. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, if you don't want to miss any of our future content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Should you flare your elbows out during your dips? Let's explore the argument of both these techniques. Advocates of this technique believe that keeping the elbows close to the body places less stress on the shoulders and places more emphasis on triceps, leading to greater muscle activation. On the other hand, proponents of flaring the elbows out argue that it allows for a deeper range of motion and better recruitment of chest muscles. However, it is important to note that flaring your elbows out excessively can put undue strains on your shoulders joints and increase the risk of injury. So which approach is the best for you? The answer might vary depending on the individual anatomy, strength and, and goals. Now let's have a look at regression and progression of this exercise. We're gonna start from the assisted dips. This variation is fantastic for beginners or those working their way up to an assisted dips by using a band, a machine, or a sensor from a partner, you can gradually build strength and confidence in the movement. 
assisted dips provide support during the lowering phase of the exercise, making it easier to control the movement and focus on proper form. This can be especially beneficial for individuals with limited upper body strength or mobility issues, allowing them to safely build strength and stability over time. Now let's talk about the weighted dips. This advanced variation involves adding extra resistance such as weight plates or a weighted vest to increase the intensity of the exercise. By challenging your muscles with additional resistance, you can stimulate greater muscle growth and strength gains. However, it is essential that you approach the weighted dips with caution and ensure that you have a solid foundation of strength and stability before adding extra weight. If you are still not capable of doing one dip and you want to move on from the assisted dips, the next step will be to do the negatives. Deep negatives involve focusing on the eccentric phase of the exercise, which is when your muscles lengthen under tension as you lower your body down. Negatives are an effective way to overload your muscles, stimulate growth and develop greater strength and control in the deep movement. Focus on maintaining tension in your chest, triceps and shoulders throughout the descent. This eccentric loading places a significant stress on your muscle fibers, triggering muscle growth and adaptation. Incorporating deep negatives into your routine, it is quite beneficial for beginners or advanced lifters. Beginners can use negatives to build up strength and familiarize with the movement, while advanced lifters can incorporate negatives as a way to break through plateau of strength and build muscle mass. If you are new into dips or you are working on building your strength, start with the assisted variations first to establish proper form and gradually increase the resistance over time. On the other hand, if you are an experienced lifter that is seeking a greater challenge, give weighted dips a try to push yourself to the limits and see impressive gains. Regardless of which variation you choose, remember to give priority to safety and listen to your body. Consistency and progression is the key of achieving your fitness goals. An injury is the last thing you want. Guys, don't forget I'm here to help you out. So if you have any questions with regards to fitness or if you want to know more about a specific exercise, please let me know by asking in the comment area. And don't forget, keep crushing those weights safely and I will see you on the next one. Ciao!